Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing pregnancy yoga specifically for sciatica and back pain. It's an overall feel-good class, but we're going to do stretches and exercises that are going to relieve any pressure on the sciatic nerve as well as strengthen and stretch out our backs. This yoga class is safe for all trimesters and you have the option to use a birth ball for a few of the moves. However, if you don't have a birth ball, I will give modifications so you don't need one. I may look like I'm pregnant. I'm actually just wearing a belly for demonstration. I do have three kids. However, I will keep making pregnancy workouts, yoga, Pilates every week, and I already have 150 videos in the current playlist, which I will keep adding to. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start on all fours. We can start with some movement for our back, getting warmed up. Let's start with some hip circles. So pretending you've got a pencil coming down from your belly button, we're gonna draw circles on the floor below us. You can start with smaller circles, moving into larger circles. Going the other way. to a neutral spine and now we're going to pretend it to draw circles on the wall behind us with your tailbone so we're circling this way warming up our hips other direction Good. Let's move in to some cat and cow. Exhale, <sighs> hugging your baby, rounding out. Inhale, keeping your baby pulled in, looking up, moving back and forth with your breath. Good. Coming to a neutral spine, making sure you're not letting your baby hang and arching your back. Let's take one hand up behind our ear and then we're going to open up through our thoracic back and then we can reach through. Good. Open up, reach through. Last one. And now we can stay down here, stretching out through our thoracic spine. Come on up. We can move to the other side. I'm bringing the other hand up. Opening up, reaching through. Good, and now we can stay down here, pressing your shoulder in, stretching through wherever's tight. Pressing into your hand. Come on up. We're gonna move into bird dog here. And as you lift your opposite arm and leg, keeping your hips very stable, not collapsing through your back, hugging your baby in. We're gonna lift on an exhale. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, down, switching sides. Hips aren't rocking back and forth. Good. 
feeling your back and your glutes squeeze at the top. You can pause for a second at the top. Good. Coming down. Let's widen our knees and we can sit back into child's pose. Walking your hands out. Deep breaths into your back body here. Let's come up slightly. We can walk our hands to one side, really ballooning out through our side body, getting a nice stretch. Walking our hands across to the other side. You can also shift your hips slightly back and drag your hands. Good. Walking your hands back in. We're going to do a figure four stretch, which is great for taking pressure off of the sciatic nerve. You can also do this on a couch or a chair if you have one available. We'll take one knee slightly bent, you can cross the other knee over and then walk your bottom foot up, giving yourself a boost so that you're sitting nice and tall. Find somewhere that it's not painful but that you feel a gentle stretch here. You can also play with this movement. You can rock side to side finding the spot that's relieving your tension. So feel free to stay here. If you wanted to take it deeper, you can cradle your leg in your arm, sitting tall, pulling it into your body this way. So wherever is comfortable for you. Breathing here. Good. Releasing, let's switch to the other side. bit to find your place of tension. Option to cradle your leg here. Releasing on this side. Let's come up to standing. You can get up however is comfortable for you. We're gonna stretch through our side body. So let's reach our right hand up. We can cross our right foot behind and then really balloon out. Exhale, coming up. On your left foot, let's center it, spread our toes, ground, and then we're gonna shift our weight to that foot, bringing our right knee up. We can bring it in, hug your baby in. Let's circle our ankle, going both ways. going to take our leg that's up, cross it over, and you can either place your toe on the ground or wrap it behind your calf, taking our arms out to the side, one arm over the other, bending your elbows and reaching for your thumbs or your palms together. Eagle pose. Oh, sinking down a little bit.
Elbows lift up for a nice stretch through your upper back. Releasing your arms. You can unwind your leg and we'll switch to the other side. This time crossing your left leg behind. Big inhale, reaching up and over. On your next exhale, engaging your obliques, coming up, finding your balance again. We'll move into Eagle Pose first, wrapping your leg around. Arms out to the side, other arm over top this time. Sinking lower as elbows raise up. Beautiful. Release, unwind your legs, good. Begin to turn to your left. We'll find warrior two here, sinking down, shoulders relax down your back. And we're gonna flow, tipping back, exhale, using your obliques to come up. Last one. Good, hold here. Let's release our arms down, straighten your front leg, and we're gonna turn it to the side, setting up for warrior one. Back leg is straight, outer edge of your foot presses into the ground. Hugging your baby in. On your next exhale, you're gonna pull in your baby, shift your weight to your front foot, bringing your knee up. And back down. Moving with your breath. Last one. Beautiful. Take a breath here. Straightening your front leg, let's move into triangle or trikonasana. Hips are facing the front. We're reaching towards the side. Head can be forward or looking up if that's comfortable. Engaging your legs. Beautiful, exhale, coming up. Let's switch to the other side, warrior two. Finding your positioning and then we'll flow. Peaceful warrior, warrior two. here, sinking a little bit lower. Release your arms, we'll turn to the side, heading up for warrior one, strong legs. Preparing to shift your weight to your front foot, exhale, moving with control.
last one. Good. We can open up to the side. Straighten your front leg. Trikonasana. Exhale, coming up. We can step our feet together. Let's grab a sip of water. And then if you're gonna grab your yoga ball, you can grab your yoga ball. So we can grab our ball, or you can be standing and do your pelvic tilts with bent knees standing. We can sit, get comfortable here. We're gonna tuck our tailbone under, and then tip it back. Using your core muscles, exhale as you bring it in. Good. Go side to side. You can take some circles now. Hugging your baby in still. Switch directions. We're gonna do some strengthening exercises to help protect your back and sciatic nerves. So I'm gonna bring my ball to the end and then roll down here. So if you don't have the ball, you can do hip thrusts or bridges on your back or up on your elbows or also over a couch or a chair. So we wanna be looking up. We're gonna release our hips down, engaging your glutes, lifting up, good. Let's do one more, and now we're gonna hold here. Nice straight line here. Squeezing your glutes. Good, release. Now we can walk back. Let's release over the ball for a nice stretch here, or you can also put pillows down if you don't have a ball. Releasing your arms out. Take a couple of breaths here. Good. We can walk ourselves off of the ball. I'm gonna bring the ball in front of me now and stretch out in a modified downward dog. So you can roll your hands out. Feel free to wiggle your hips back and forth here. Let's stabilize our hips again. Pull our baby in, lengthen through our back, slight tuck in our chin. Stretching forward. We can come down to the ground now and we're finished with the ball so we can move the ball out of the way. Let's come to downward dog. And we'll move into pigeon, or you could do a figure four stretch again, tucking your toes, pressing up. Let's walk our heels out first. 
or take any movement that feels good. Centering one foot, we can release one up to the ceiling and then swing it through for pigeon. Feel free to stay sitting tall if that feels good, or you can lower your body forward. you're ready coming up we'll switch to the other side you can come back through all fours centering the other foot swinging the other foot through you can also put a pillow or a block underneath your hips here if that's more comfortable find our way to all fours and then come up on our knees for a lunge bringing one leg forward shifting your hips and then you can tuck your tailbone under for a deeper stretch steady breaths Pressing into your front foot. Let's shift our weight back. We can switch to the other side. Coming on out. Bring that foot in. Let's come it down to a seated position for a wide-legged forward fold. Doesn't matter how far your legs are apart. Flexing your feet, you can boost yourself up. You can also sit on a pillow or a block if it's more comfortable. Let's reach side to side. Let's bring our legs in for a butterfly or baddha konasana, or alternatively, you could practice your yogi squat here. If it feels good, you can give your feet a massage. Inhale, and then hinging at the hips. Relaxing through your hip, relaxing your pelvic floor. into Shavasana here. So if you had a pillow or a bolster between your legs and that under your head, or you could grab a blanket to cover up with also. Just finding a comfortable position. You can place your hand 
on your belly. Send your baby some love. Let's take a big breath in and sigh out. <sighs> Inhale in. <sighs> Scan your whole body, relax the different parts of your body. Feel heavy on the ground. Feel free to stay here, or you can circle your wrists and ankles. Take any last stretch that feels good. We can find our way back to a seated position. I will read the yoga card for the day, which is a quote from Ina Mae Gaskin. The state of relaxation of the mouth and jaw is directly correlated to the ability of the cervix, vagina, and anus to open to full capacity. So another thing that moms find helpful is fully relaxing the mouth and jaw and also practicing horse lips. I know it seems kind of silly, but it can be a helpful practice to do during birth. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste to you. Namaste to the babies. I hope that helped your body feel good and relieved any aches and pains, especially if you're having sciatica or back pain. I will keep making pregnancy yoga workouts and Pilates every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video out with another pregnant friend. I will also link to my free resources and ebooks for pregnancy in the description box below, as well as the pregnancy yoga workout playlist, which has over 150 different videos. You can also find it right there, as well as my natural birth preparation playlist there. <laughs>